eating local and eating fresh may be a recent trend for some people but most of small town india and rural parts of india it's a way of life hi this is dr amrita and you are listening to the health wellbridge podcast this is a necessary disclaimer the health information provided on this podcast is for general awareness and education it doesn't in any way replace a doctor's professional medical advice kindly consult your doctor in case of any decision regarding your health and diet the thela wala carrying fresh leafy greens ripe mangoes green coriander baby carrots and radishes always make me want to go and buy some then came the lockdown of 2020 and these carts were the lifeline for many There were no supermarkets in our small town. I missed going out. My husband's ancestral house was around 15 km from where we lived. It was rented out and was in less than perfect condition. The renter was moving out after the Durga Puja that year. We decided to do something about the village home, a heritage, a memory maker, a chance to live a simple life, maybe on weekends. but definitely a simple life we didn't look back more about the simple life in later episodes for today in the description you will find the video to our home garden in the village it's a small place but a place where we find a lot of peace and happiness when we hang out on the weekends my favorite quote for today is by robert green jack of all trades master of none but often times better than a master of one he refers to william shakespeare with this idiom coming up next are the book chapters from how to walk right and garden for the healthy life you want by dr amrita basu physical effects of walking chapter 4 walk alone or walk in a group whatever works for you but what if you don't have anyone to walk with inspire a friend or an accountability partner even online works some apps help track your walking schedule but once you do something regularly your brain becomes habituated if it's a good thing and you feel good about it you will always remember that feeling and no matter what you will try to walk walking is the first step to good cardiovascular health you can walk away from anger sadness low energy and brain blocks walking is one of those exercises which can be done anywhere if you don't have a treadmill can't walk outside due to whatever reasons walk at home start in front of the television count your strides as you walk and you will be surprised how much you can do just while watching web series a few things you should know moderate intensity walking is around 5 to 8 km per hour the effect of walking on your body walking improves fitness reduces body fat increases basal metabolic rate controls blood pressure resting blood pressure is lower weight loss is with sustained effort but the calorie intake is also important for net result to be visible cardiovascular health improves with lower risk of heart attack and stroke diabetes mellitus is prevented with better blood sugar control are reduced depression is prevented as endorphins are released to make you happier walking will improve insulin sensitivity glycemic control and the incidence of obesity This habit of moderate intensity walking for at least 30 minutes per day is needed to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. According to one study, 29% of adults in England have less than 30 minutes dedicated to moderate physical activity. The good news is that even lower intensity walking has beneficial effects on your health. It improves metabolic control, lowers risk of metabolic disease, and enhances the quality of life score significantly it's easy to do anyone can do it anywhere it's little impact low risk and a fundamental activity for most 
sustainability is most important for new habit formation and something you need to do long term this is where walking as an exercise trumps all others as a zero cost exercise suitable for all remember start now read while walking at home not outside if you are reading that is use a pedometer app on your smartphone if you want to start small even a little increase is good embrace walking as a part of your daily feel good routine don't miss walking on holidays go for walks around the resort or hike trails the best effects of cardiovascular fitness happens with at least 40 minutes per day every day but even starting a little physical activity is better than none how many steps per day are enough 10000 steps per day is a reasonable target for healthy adults the national obesity forum uk mentions 3000 to 6000 steps per day is sedentary life not recommended 7000 to 10000 steps is moderately active more than 11000 steps per day is very active national heart association of australia mentions targeting 10000 steps every day for healthy adults Today's shout out is for Ridsy, a platform for writers, editors, and they have courses absolutely free to help you learn in your author journey. Check out Ridsy if you want to learn to be a more productive author. If you want to be better at self-editing or better at writing dialogues, Ridsy has a course for you. The best part is the course is a simple email series and you can read it anytime anywhere online or offline and it's forever yours. No fancy site for access and no extra password to remember. Coming up next is a little bit about prevention of tuberculosis. Various steps have been taken by the Central TB Division state tb cells to ensure continuity of tb services even during the covid-19 pandemic and the lockdown situation the primary healthcare intervention available to reduce the risk of tb progressing to active tb disease is tb preventive treatment if someone has a latent infection treatment to prevent active infection is essential who guidance recommends tb preventive treatment for people living with hiv household contacts of bacteriologically confirmed pulmonary cox cases and clinical risk groups like those receiving dialysis wearing a mask and cough etiquette goes a long way in preventing spread of tuberculosis other interventions are tb infection prevention and control and vaccination of children with bacillus carmet gouverin or the bcg vaccine which gives protection from severe forms of tb in children TB education is also crucial. Young children should not be in direct contact with multidrug resistant or XDR TB patients. Patients with XDR TB need to be isolated at all times. Caregivers need to wear protective masks and maintain adequate distance. HIV positive people and other immunocompromised patients should not be caregivers for active cases of tuberculosis. Like always awareness is power and education keeps us healthy you were listening to dr amrita on the health wellbridge podcast